An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. So Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your own old style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be to the fullest. Okay, I've temporarily cut power to some of the pumps so that it's not as loud. I can't do that with everything. But um, as you may or may not know, water hyacinths tend to be a real bitch to breed indoors, especially when you don't know how to do it. That seems to be like one of the big secrets of this stuff, quote unquote. Because if you do a Google search for things like raising water hyacinths indoors and so on and so forth, um, you're going to find a lot more of people asking that question and saying, mm, I don't fucking know then you are going to find the answers. Well, I found the answers. It took me a while. And I just want to show you. So it's actually very simple. Alright, one of the first main things is this shit. This, right here, it's a vitamin supplement, a um, comprehensive supplement from the Planet Aquarium to flourish by Seachem, S-E-A-C-H-E-M, um, that's uh, 500 milliliters, 16.9 milliliters, etc., etc. Um, this supplements the vitamins and minerals, minerals that they would um, normally get outside, but they don't get inside. Without this, the immune system of the water hyacinth is going to go straight into the shitter. And there's these um, little bacteria, little microscopic bugs, that normally are, high, are harmless to the water hyacinth. Because the structure of the water hyacinth is able to withstand it, they can't eat through it. Well, as the water hyacinth's health goes down, the material becomes more soft and then they can eat through it and it just becomes incredibly nasty so definitely uh, vitamin supplement the next big thing is going to be full spectrum lighting um, this lighting is on a timer that's why it's not on right now um, it'll be on when the timer engages it but um, this is a Philips bulb, fluorescent bulb, full spectrum lighting. So that is the, the second mandatory point. Now the main trick seems to be a lot of light or close light. These are special uh, grow bulbs. Um, Welcome to our storehouse of a zillion freaking light bulbs. Um, that I'm talking about. Oh, that might grow better. Hot light, grow better for healthier plants. Eco-friendly, energy saving, lasts up to seven years. 20 watts replaces 75 watts. LED are okay, they seem to be a bit more expensive. This is cheaper, an LED bulb of this equi equivalent. It's going to cost you a 40. This costs me 20.
Kind hearts are the gardens. Kind thoughts are the roots. Kind words are the flowers. Kind deeds are the fruits. Take care of your garden and keep out the weeds. Fill it with sunshine, kind words, and kind deeds. Mm. Never seen that on a light bulb before, I can say that much. <laughs> These are plant lights. I got one there. Um, this is doing real good. This is doing okay, not as good. I have one there. Um, and we have our lighting system up here, just generally. When we tried putting the water hyacinth in the pond, and even up in those, even with these, it started dying, it wasn't enough. Um, so I would have either needed to move this closer to the hyacinth or add more of these bulbs. Well, for the pond setup, moving things closer is not feasible. So we're going to be adding more. And that's definitely more feasible. And of course, here's the hyacinth. Um, we did not start with this many. We've had these, this in here since... Um, like October, November, something like that. And now, like in a couple of days, it's gonna be February. So yeah, that was 2012 going into 2013. And um, it's been really great for our baby guppy too. Um, similarly to in the pond, um, the babies can hide within the root structure. So, you know, it's pretty badass. We only started with a few water hyacinths and it's just been multiplying like crazy up in here which in the past I wasn't able to get it multiplying it, it was hard enough just to keep it from dying um, so yeah as, as you can hopefully see there, there's a new piece growing up over there hopefully you can see the root structure and it's trying to jump right out of the frickin' tank with its new one there. So, um, these things are definitely prospering. Okay, the next point is that, um, water hyacinths are very efficient for, uh, for cleaning aquatic environments, they suck in and store a lot. With that said, you're going to need as good a filtration as humanly possible and or lots of frequent water changes because um, what will happen if you don't do that is too much stuff will build up in the, in the tank and it's like the equivalent of overfeeding the plant. Kind of like if you if you over feed a plant with plant fertilizer, the fertilizer will then actually kill it because it's way too much at once. So it's the equivalent of overfeeding the plant. Now, what we have primarily, um, we have uh, gravel filters. Um, got the gravel and the padding. Um, these are above ground filters, above gravel filters. They do a very good job. And we also have um, your little... Um, oh, it's, it's such a pain in the ass to see, but we got the little mount filter on the back there. So, as heavy a filtration as you possibly can. Lots of water changes. Full spectrum lighting. And the um, plant fertilizer. I bought that on uh, on Amazon.com because it was cheaper for more. So there we are. 